You wanna follow me over your bad boy? Oh, you're getting confused, are ya? Oh, he's so confused at the moment. Where do I go? I'm so confused. Oh, should I go through here? Should I turn around? <laughs> oh, he has no idea where he wants to go. No idea where he wants to go. Maybe through here now? Huh? Huh? Okay, I'll stop messing around with him. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Last Day. I'm your host, the bird who's no longer dying. Notice Falcon. If you're wondering what I mean by that, well, on Monday morning, I recorded a couple of videos, and one of them happened to be for Next Day Survival. If you watched that video, the latest one anyway, I mentioned that video that I thought I was getting sick, and oh man, was I right. By Monday n afternoon and night, I wasn't feeling too good. I woke up Tuesday morning, complete cold sweat, coughing, phlegm, you name it, terrible. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I was gone. Finito. I was in bed just writing in pain because I had like a fever, body pains. It was pretty terrible. Today is Friday morning and I feel pretty good, finally. I feel like I'm still slightly nasally, but um, other than that, I feel relatively good. So I need to record a couple of videos for you guys because I'm out. Anyway, we're going to be doing the bunker today because it reset. And the reason why we're doing it is because apparently a lot of you guys have been telling me that I have not done the bunker since uh, it was updated. The coupons edition and all that stuff. I thought I had, but a lot of people have been telling me that I have not. So I guess we'll do that today. And as you can see right now, I have a, a ton of coupons. So we'll be able to cash in green and yellow easily. And after maybe a couple of kills, we'll get enough for the red one. So we'll do a complete opening of crates today. I think for now, all we really do need is like something like this, really. That's yeah, fine. I mean, I don't even need 10 bandages, 20 bandages for now. I'll do that. This is good enough for the lobby anyway. Let's all go to the lobby, let's all go to the lobby, let's all go to the Have you guys ever, like, been to the movies and you hear that commercial about let's go to the lobby? Have you ever, like, really felt the need to go to the lobby, literally, and buy something? It's never worked on me, like, I know it's supposed to be, like, subliminal. Well, it's not even subliminal, because it's very obvious that it's supposed to, like, make you want to get up and go spend some money on snacks and stuff. <laughs> but either way, I've always seen that commercial and it's never like, no, I've never seen it and been like, well, I gotta get up right now and go buy some snacks. I've never been that way. Then again, I really don't ever um, buy many snacks when I go to the movies. I'll occasionally get like a, a pop just because I'm thirsty. I'm a very thirsty dude. Primarily because sometimes I happen to be inebriated when I'm at the movies too. So, you know, when you're inebriated, you're a little bit thirstier. And you constantly go to the restroom, but you miss a lot of the movie because you're going to pee you're constantly, and then people are like, what are you doing? And it's kind of like, I'm sorry, sir. I have a minor drinking problem, so before I came to the movies, I was drinking, and now I can't stop urinating. No, it's not really true. I, I assure you, mom and dad, if you're watching, your son, your bird son does not have a drinking problem. It's all a joke. It's all a ruse, man. It's all a ruse. Bring your ass down. You are the door that never opens as well. You're stuck. I want to unstuck you. You know, I have a crowbar. Why doesn't the crowbar unstuck you? Oh, it's because it's a metal... Well, not really a metal. Probably like an iron door of some kind. Well, it requires like some sort of crazy code. I guess you can't pop it open with a crowbar. Unlike the, the fence over in the third floor. That one you could pop open with the crowbar, but not this one right here, huh? Alrighty. Fast biter. Let's go ahead and smashy smashy. Smash you down too. Pop you open. Pop this. I, I made a lot of crowbars this time around because I have so much metal and leather back home. I've been using my metal and... Not leather? Yeah, leather too. Primarily to make the... The... You know, that spiked... Weapon. What the hell is it called? Well, what's your name again? <laughs> the Spike Devastator, right? I've been using that. Oh, I got the last hammer I needed for the... Uh, for the what? The, the workbench. The gunsmith bench, right? I'm sorry. Uh, I don't... I don't know anything just yet. I haven't recorded in a couple of days. Believe me, when you haven't recorded in a couple of days, you come back to it. You're slightly rusty. I don't think I'm rusty at the moment, but my my word processing isn't as clear as it normally is. Plus, I also happen to be under a little bit of medication at the moment, too. No, it's not alcohol. I haven't drank in the last few days because I'm sick, right? I've been just medicating myself with, like, you know, NyQuil and DayQuil and all sorts of, like, pills and stuff. And they're all legal pills, I assure you, they're all for the fact that I'm dying and sick. So, you know, if you want to mix that stuff with alcohol, don't do it. You'll you obviously die. So, I just happen to be hopped up on a bunch of, like, cold medicine. So, you know, <laughs> I'm all over the place at the moment. Um, so, how about this? Before we go in there to start clearing stuff out, let's do a, a little bit of an opening, huh? Alrighty, guys, so I came down here and I opened up the old... 
Uh, we used the green tickets for this bad boy right here, and let's see what we got. We have a Glock, we have a golf club, some food, some of the old meats as well. Uh, you know, just expected. A lot of people tell me that they get, like, um, the M16 from the green storage sometimes, and I never get that. I'm never fortunate enough to get that, so... Must be nice to be you guys. Uh, I guess I'll take the food as well. Yeah, why not? I'll take the food as well for healing. Okay, and let's also go ahead and cash in the old yellas. The old yellas. You could sometimes give me a, oh, a chopper part. Can you please give me the gas tank that I'm missing? Of course not. Of course not, but you gave me my second shotgun. Hey, how about that? I'm slightly happy about those shotguns, even though I haven't used them just yet. And reds, I still need two more tickets for you. Okay. Let's uh, actually start off with... I'll be honest with you guys, I love to start off with third floor, and then do the second one afterwards. I don't know why, I just... I feel more comfortable with the sec third floor than the second one, so... This is the one I normally start off with all the time, I don't even know why now. But I like it, so let's do it. So if I remember correctly, we're about to get... Attacked by two fast biters and the old toxic abomination. So, we might want to go with a slightly stronger weapon to deal with this situation, so we use the shovel over here. Bring it on, buddies! Get him in the old head! Shovel him down! You're next, too. Okay, now you, Mr. Floater Blood. Oh, it's not an abomination, it's a bloater. I forget all the time. You know, you're, you're both fat, so, like, you know, I tend to forget who's who around here, but whatever. He's dead. No resources to collect. That's because we're in auto. Did you pick up any tickets here? We got a green. That's really all I got from you guys, huh? I'm slightly disappointed. Uh, we're at 17, so we might as well pop a bandage, and that's 40, right? Let's do another one. There we go. Oh, and I lost my hat. Lost my hat. Use that little beanie, and my pants are about to go down, but we have the backups right here. Good. Uh, we'll pop the stuff open later. You know, right, right now it's more important about clearing the stuff out. I guess a lot of people wanted to see how I do this because they don't have an idea how to do it themselves, you said, or like a most efficient way. I don't think my way is like, you know, necessarily efficient efficient, but, uh, you know, it, it gets it done. It does get it done the way I do it here, so let's go ahead and 81 on you. And preferably, I would like to get Mr. Fastbiter alone, even though that abomination for a fat dude is actually relatively fast. But this will single out the Toxic Spitter first, obviously. And we can just go into auto mode over here. The Abomination, I really hate him just because he's really fast. He's got a lot of HP. And you know what? He surprisingly hits pretty hard, too. He's a surprisingly tough little dude. As a matter of fact, you know, before they, add, they added the Frenzy Giant, I would say the Abomination was kind of like the most annoying dude around here. Because the Spitter's really easy to dodge, you know? You just have to make sure that he's going to come at you. If he spits, you move to the left once, twice, and you attack him. The Abomination, though, he's always really annoying. Hits you pretty hard still, no matter what. Let's uh, pop that one, and let's also have a meat to top ourselves off. And here, I normally leave this room for last, but let's do it right now, I suppose. Um, it should be two fast biters and Abomination, if I'm right. Well, since you can't sneak attack these dudes, I'm gonna go ahead over here and... do something like that. And just, uh... I'd prefer to, like, take out, yeah, you first, right? So let's do that. And then we run momentarily. The fast biter will catch up to us first. And then we do that. We're going to auto. You're probably thinking, Falcon, why use bullets on the <coughs> fast biter? Sorry, throw it. Well, you don't really have to. But the problem is, as I mentioned before when my videos are ready, you get so many guns now from the cases that I have an excess amount of guns. So if you have an excess amount of guns, it's kind of like, you know, it's getting to the point now where I actually have more guns than melee weapons. That's how crazy it is now. I'm trying to conserve my melee weapons now by actually using guns. That's how crazy it is. That's how well the payoff is for the bunker runs when you start turning into cash or the coupons after a while. So we'll take you. I'm pretty sure I haven't picked up all the coupons from the bodies back there. I will do that shortly. Um, yeah, sure. I, I normally leave the pillaging of the crates for later. As you saw with the food one earlier, but whatever, I'll take this for now because this normally has a couple of heals. So if you're looking for a couple of cheap heals, there you go. Over here, we'll have a fat dude. I normally don't kill this fat dude anymore because you could actually come in here and pillage this without him ever triggering. So you don't have to kill him. 
If you want to kill him, you have a chance of getting a red or a yellow coupon, right? How it's worked out for me in the past has been that... Let me sneak away here. I've killed him in the past, and you know what? Uh, the two times that I've killed him in the past, he's dropped, like, green coupons for me, and I've been like, you know what? I don't think it's worth the investment of my bullets, or my weapons, or my heals, or whatever. So for now, I am leaving him be. We shall come back to him if we have to. Now, this guy right here, this Toxic Spitter, if you kill the guy that I hit first with a one-hit kill, like if you have a stronger weapon and you kill him in one hit, the other guy will not aggro on you. So you can actually... And that doesn't matter because you can't sneak attack this guy because he's staring directly at you. But if you kill the guy that I hit first with a one-hit kill, the other guy will not aggro on you. So if you're looking at key below key for whatever reason, you can do that. So now let's go over here. Let's bust the old gunny gun. How you doing, buddy? Huh? How you doing? Oh, you're about to get wrecked by a sick bird. How do you feel about that, huh? I mean, I shouldn't really be bragging because in the past, this guy has wrecked me. Remember when he had 56 HP, guys, and I hit him with my saw and he killed me? Ha ha ha! I remember that too well. It was actually quite embarrassing. It was quite embarrassing indeed. Oh, I got this guy! And then he just one hit punches me out the yin gang. Alright, so let's put you over here. We're about to get swamped by some of the old spitter spits. So let's go back to the crowbar, I suppose. They're not really too big of an issue. Pop this open. Get your ass over here. Come on. Let's just go into auto mode, have him deal with it here. I remember, like, before they switched the um, bunker, you would also deal... Remember there was, like, a, a frenzy giant that used to come out here with this guy? So, like, you'd trigger them, and then the frenzy giant would also show up slowly and slowly, so this would be a lot more dangerous. <coughs> I also figured out how to get through this without taking any damage. Apparently, you guys told me, wait till it's like that. You saw how I ran through it right now? If you run through it after it's completely spit the, the, the gas at you, and it's still in the screen, if you run through it, then you're fine. But if you wait after it dissipates and you run through, the next gas attack will hit you even if you skip it completely. How? I don't know. It's just the weird hitbox of the detection right there. But yeah, you guys told me about that one, and now I just run whenever the gas is thrown its way, but I can still see it. I run through it, and I'm perfectly fine. So much for realism, huh? <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead over here and do this bad boy. We don't need any more food for this. Let's go through here. There used to be a turret over here too back in the day. Yeah, the bunker is so much easier now when you compare it to how it used to be. It is so much easier. Oh yeah, and over here too. Um, Let me show you. So, well, I won't show you, but I'll tell you. If I hit this guy with a crowbar or any... What the hell is that? I'm not even on my phone. I'm emulating my phone on the computer. Stop it. Stop sending me messages. Um, if you kill this guy with one hit, this is a, a total waste, by the way, of this weapon on this guy. But I want to show you something. You saw how I killed him, and the abomination did not trigger. If you attack this guy and don't kill him, the abomination will also trigger, and you miss out a chance to sneak attack him. So now, because I did that, I can sneak attack this guy with this weapon as well, and, you know, it'll be worthwhile. So... Let's actually have that down because this guy will hurt me quite a bit, so we'll do... BAM! And we'll just fight it out this way. That's what I meant about the one-hit kills, they can be really useful for you, if, um... The right situation. So for the first time that I mentioned it, and it was like a, a spitter that spotted me, it doesn't really matter too much then because it's a spitter, but for an abomination that has like 300 HP and it hits you pretty hard, killing this guy in one hit and then sneaking up on him for the extra critical hit, very useful, very useful. Now over here, uh, you can use the crowbar, sure. What I like to do is just to avoid a little bit of extra damage. And again, if you have a lot of guns from doing the bunker trip, it's not really too important. Let's kill this guy. Go ahead and kill this guy. You could even snipe the Frenzy Giant from over here if you want to. Honestly, if you're trying not to, like, you know, if you don't want to get the critical hit, just shoot him with a AK gun. You can kill him from over here and never have to worry about it. Otherwise, you can indeed break this down. And get a sneak attack on him. And I guess we'll do that. So we'll do this over here and this over here. I don't think the... I'm not sure if the Abomination triggers on you. I don't quite recall if he does or not. He might. Actually, he might. No, he doesn't. Oh, perfect. Okay, so then we can actually sneak up on the Abomination for another critical hit too. 
I normally don't do this. I, I normally just shoot him through the fence, but... There we go. Bring you down to the old... 55. Bang him down. There it is. And then we'll just sneak up on this dude as well. How you doing, Mr. Fatty? How you doing, buddy? Let's get you the old... Ooh. Oh, I forgot to switch over to a, a better weapon to kill you with. Saw me. Okay, so over there we do have the Frenzy Giant that we could deal with right now as well. What I hate about this guy is you can't sneak attack him. I've also found out about this dude is if you get too close to the area, he will move towards the door and when you open it, he can just punch you and kill you. It's actually quite comical sometimes. So if you're way too close to the door, he'll come over here and you open it and he'll just like, BAM! Punch you in the face and kill you. It is pretty funny indeed. Not, not when it happens. I mean, it's probably funny for people watching. But if it's you, you'll probably be pretty upset. And I'm telling you the first-hand experience, I've been upset by that. I've been like, oh, come on, you jerk. How did you even know it was coming? And another red one, cool. Oh, that was superbly worth it. Oh, yeah. Just what I really wanted. Well, I mean, I guess we got a red ticket from killing the guy, but still, that was totally... Oh. You guys trigger without me even getting into the room. Okay, well, I was actually going to try to sneak attack him. But this is fine, too. As long as the abominations don't trigger, that's okay. Wasn't expecting that, though. Take that. Okay. Abominations, abominations. Uh, you guys are the problem here. My shovel's almost about to break, too. Um, so is my crowbar. So I say we do this here, and... Hmm. Let's go with that one. And we'll follow it up with... You might have enough to kill one. I think, I hope. If not, we might run into a little bit of a problem here. Little bit of a problem here. Let's see if this works out. Okay, bring him down. Bring him down. Pop this. Okay. Very good. Very good. Not too bad. And then we'll switch over to this over here because I don't want to have the saw to kill this guy down. So that worked out pretty good. Yellow, and that's about it. Alright. So down to a crowbar. Still got you for my crits later. I guess we'll pop you. Let's put you back over here. And let's see. Well, we have a fat dude coming up, so we'll be using this and this. Pop it. How you doing, buddy? Just hang it out, huh? <laughs> no idea what hit him. Can you imagine if these guys had the the awareness of, like, the abominations? Well, I mean, even the abominations here in the bunker are kind of dumb. Like, the abominations, the toxic ones, are pretty smart in the red fields or anywhere else you encounter them outside of the bunker. They have, like, a really high, like, sense of awareness. So you know how there's, like, a, a circle here and a circle out here? They can actually spot you even if you're sneaking around from the, cir the second circle outside. So if you're walking and you're somewhere among the second circle, they'll come after you very easily. They have a really high awareness. Luckily, in the bunker, they're a bit toned down. Although, they have... They hit you a lot harder in the bunker, but at least their awareness is toned down, so... They don't trigger from too far to chase you down. Um... I don't think we're gonna need shoes. Actually, we will kind of need shoes. Kind of suitish, huh? Yeah, sure, I'll bring you, and I'll pick you guys up later. What do you got for me, buddy? How long has this video been going, too? Oh, man. It's kind of a long one. Alright, we might have to split this bad boy up into, like, two parts or something. I'm gonna go a bit longer here than usual, and then I'll probably split it at some point. Because the bunker takes a while to do because there's a bunch of killing to do, a bunch of running back, a bunch of healing, a bunch of looting. So, even when I do these bunker runs off camera, it takes me like, oh man, <coughs> that was a mistake. I moved too close and I needed a cough too. It was a bad mistake altogether. I needed to use the crowbar on those guys. Okay. Well, you guys are kind of jerks because you made me use my saw mace on you, but luckily, it's still in pretty good condition. Okay, we've got some food. Uh, do I need that? Yeah, I guess we could use like two of them. Use the water. Okay. Take that. Take that. Abomination will not trigger on you. 
here will go this way. I think the gun will probably break before we do enough damage to the Frenzy Giant. I believe, anyway. An abomination will never trigger on you, even if you run or sneak out. You can do whichever you want. But he should never trigger on you. And here we go with you. you we actually might have enough to bring you down. Oh, in case you're wondering what happened to my Sniff Gun. I used it for... Oh, we had enough for it, perf. I used it for the Giants in the... Second floor? Um, when I built the gun. Cause this is a reset since then, so I went through the bunker that time when I showed you the zip in the first time around. Um, it's not good, it's not a good weapon. A lot of people tell me it's a good weapon for the Frenzy Giants, I mean... Sure, it's a good weapon in the sense that any weapon that's long distance against them is actually good, but it's not necessarily a great weapon. So I used it up mostly on the Frenzy Giants, and it does like 18 damage per hit, and because they're slow, you could actually use it against them fairly easily, but... Again, it's a weapon that I would never make. Unless they tone down the requirements for it. Right now, the requirements for it are way too high for a pretty bad weapon, so... It's not really worth it. But once they tone it down, hopefully then, it'll definitely be worth it. Uh... Yeah, I'll take you, and I'll pick you guys up later, as usual. Now over here, do you want to go ahead and sneak attack this guy with a sword mace too? I guess, why not? And then we'll finish it up with the crowbar, so... Boom! Out of it up, bad boy! Bring old fatty down. Oh, good. Nothing to collect, huh? Nice. <clears throat> so let's see, we're at 68. Let's go ahead and pop one of you. Let's get you ready. I should have, like, at least... I would say, like, maybe one more shot at the very least, huh? Okay. I guess we'll pop that open afterwards. Here, I believe in the past, I told you guys that I couldn't sneak attack this guy, but you actually can if you go through here, it does seem. Now, this has failed on me sometimes. Sometimes he's actually reacted and killed me. So I'm not sure. There he goes, it didn't work this time. But he's actually killed me in the past by doing it. Like, I sneak up on him and he turns around and punches me immediately. I'm not sure what the catalyst was, but it has happened to me before. We got two shots, perfect. So just a bit of a warning. Make sure you're as far away as possible when you hit this guy, otherwise... It won't go too well for you. Go this way and this way right here. Alright. Now, here is a bit of a glitch coming up, guys. There's a bit of a glitch here. I won't do it because I'm not a scumbag. But... <coughs> if you guys want to use it, it's perfectly fine. It's up to you. But, um... Oh, another pair of shoes, huh? Uh, I'll just leave you there for now. If you come through here, well, we have to deal with the Frenzy Giant in there first, right? So let's do that. This guy, you cannot sneak attack, to my understanding, because the moment you walk in... Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's a way to sneak attack him. If there is, let me know, but I'm pretty sure there is not. So let me deal with this guy here first. I'm going to show you this um, glitch. I won't do it, but I'll... I'll show you how to do it if you want to, but I won't actually do it myself. Because you know what? I don't need that. I don't need it. I'm not saying that I'm better than anybody. I'm really not. But, um, I personally like to game, play the game without any glitches, so that's just me. Alright, so over here... You, you can pop this open if you want to, too. I guess just pop it open so it doesn't really bother you afterwards. But what you want to do is... It's particularly useful for the entire bunker if you want to lower everything over here. But it's particularly useful for the room over here. You see where my arrow's at moving right now? There's a bunch of zombies in there. As a matter of fact, it's useful for just about everything that's left over in the bunker right now. But what you want to do is you want to, like, lure all those monsters over here, and you want to run back here. And if you're back here, guess what? They can't get around you. They'll run over here, back and forth, over and over, and they'll be like, Ah, oh, I can't get to you! And then as long as you're over here, you can uh, craft a couple of spears, and then with the spears, you just attack them. I think you want to use something like a spear, though, or just any weapon with range, because you want to hit them over the... The little trunk over here, right? The little chest. So, you gotta have a weapon with range, if I'm right. I'm not sure if you can use other weapons, but... From, my, from what I have understand from what you guys have told me and showed me... Um, you might want to use a spear. So bring a couple of wooden locks if you want to, craft a couple of spears. It's gonna take a while, obviously, but... You can lure everybody over there, kill them, and... Be perfectly safe and sound. Did we... Take care of the lasers? I don't think I did, right? No. So yeah, that's the trick right there. If you guys want to do it for yourselves, go ahead, but I, I won't be... Using it myself, because, you know, I don't need it. I'm too good for that. <laughs> uh, really not, but 
I just don't like to use glitches. Alright, so let's pop this open here now. And let's see what we got here. We got Abomination and... I think like two spitters if I'm right. Actually, two Abominations and one spitter or something. So I'll get that hit here. Follow, follow, follow. And I guess technically speaking, with only one guy left, we can now go into regular. You wanna follow me over here, bad boy? Oh, you're getting confused, are ya? Oh, he's so confused at the moment. Where do I go? I'm so confused. Oh, should I go through here? Should I turn around? <laughs> oh, he has no idea where he wants to go. No idea where he wants to go. Maybe through here now? Huh? Huh? Okay, I'll stop messing around with him. Let's go over here and use crowbar now. Down here, and auto. Yeah, I was gonna use the gun on him too, but whatever. This is this works out fine too. Conserve some ammunition, but it's only one guy, it's not really a big problem. When it's two abominations hitting you at the same time, then it can actually go through your food quite easily. So at least this way we don't have to spend too much to actually get this done. And we'll do one, and we might as well use do two. It gives you 40 per use anyway. And let's see what we got. Green. And the other guy didn't drop anything. Nah. Alright, cool. So that's done. Now, you're probably wondering about that room with all the monsters I told you about, right? Well, normally, normally, I skip that room nowadays. Unless I really feel like I, I desperately need, like, an extra coupon or something, I'll do it. Otherwise, I just end up skipping it completely. I skip it completely because there's only, like, two chests in there, maybe? Chances are, what's going to be in there is not going to be worth all the investment in terms of weapons and food stacks and stuff like that. So I, do, I normally skip it. I'll do this room and the other one, but I'll skip that one completely. So over here, let's go with the... Eh, the crowbar is fine. He's going to get a sneak attack in there too, right? So let me just crowbar this bad boy down. Although I could use the sword maze, but I'm almost out of the sword maze. I'm going to keep that for the frenzy giants that we have to deal with. So we'll just go about it this way here. And I guess we'll probably wrap up the video once I'm done with this floor. And then we'll do the other part next video over. Otherwise, it'll be way too long. So that's good right here. Cool. And we'll do... One and one. There we go. Now... Other guy over there should not trigger as long as I deal with you from afar. So we'll do that. I think my, my shoes are the first things that are about to break if I'm right. But otherwise, we're good? Yeah. Okay. Eh, everything's kind of in the red. Luckily, we have a bunch of clothes upstairs from our... the things that we opened already, so that's okay. Mmm... Yeah. Sneak over here. That's you. Bam. Bam. I'm about to level... Almost at level 89. By the way, I've unlocked everything on my... to build list. So, you know, I mean, you'd have to get to 99 to level everything up. Like, this is the last thing we could unlock, apparently. I already have everything. I have 40 poisons, so I haven't even used them, because there's really no point in unlocking them until they're added into the game. So, that's that. This will be our shortcut. So, we're practically done here with this floor. But before we wrap it up completely, I'm going to go ahead over here and deal with Mr. Fat Dude. And I'll also deal with that swarm over there. So... Let's you, you, you down here. I always take damage on the electrical fence, I don't know why. <laughs> always do it. I have like no sense of like, coordination or something. Screw it, just do it, whatever. I'm so bad at that, I don't know why. Not sure if it's the keyboard, that I'm using the keyboard to run as opposed to not using the keyboard, but... I'm so bad at it. And that's you. Boom. Now, we have one more giant and another abomination, if I'm right. So, let's go... Uh, I think this should be fine this way. Yellow coupon. The giant will not trigger on you if you lure the abomination. He just pops some lead into you. Go into auto mode now. Still pretty good over here. All right. Yellow. And let's see, let's see. Ah, eh, we'll just use that. Now for the guy left over over there. Sword maze, you can indeed sneak attack this guy. So... Boom. Boom. 
There it is. And red. Now for the guys in there you're wondering, eh, you know what? Just use your use the automatic gun for that. There's a lot of them in there, they won't really hurt you too much because they're a bunch of spitters, but it's kind of annoying because a lot of them swarm you, so you start taking a bunch of hit to your armor, so it's kind of like, you know, you might as well use an automatic, automatic gun because you have a lot of them at this point, assuming you've been doing the runs for a while, so... I don't even deal with it. I do on occasion switch over to melee when there's like maybe one or two left, but otherwise... That's good. This should be enough, I think. Yeah. We're fine. Watch me die right now. Watch me die for being a dingus. Okay, we're good. So you saw what I'm saying, like, it's just better- you're better off just shooting them completely down because you'll use up a bunch of heals to restore all that, you'll lose up a couple of equipment as well, so... You know, it's up to you. But there's a different option to take right there. So we got that. Got that. Got that. Now, we won't be able to do the gas room because um, we don't have a mask at the moment. I have to go back upstairs and pop open the red chest and hope for a mask from that one, which we do have enough to for it right now, so I guess we'll do it afterwards. Ooh, a gun. Nice. Take you. Ah, I don't need you just yet. I'll pick you up later. That's about it. So, now, all that's left over for me to do is go through everything that I left behind and make the judgment call to where I want to kill that turret with the chest that it's covering, if I want to kill the frenzy giant that I left over there in the corner, and if I want to go through and kill the three zombies in here. Remember, there's three zombies in there and one chest. So, is it worth it to you to use up your weapons and your food to kill three zombies with one chest? It's maybe up to... Yeah, I don't think it's too bad. That one's the easy one. The one with the seven zombies with the abominations and spitters, the, the electrical room, or not the electrical room, but the room with the sensor, that one I normally skip. It's up to you if you want to do it or not, but I normally end up skipping that one. That's where you can use the little cheat as well if you want to, but so be it. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one, guys. We'll come back with the next video, and I'll do the second floor, I guess. And then we're done, and that's how I clear the bunker these days. I hope you enjoyed it. I apologize also for not being 100% today, but, um, you know, I, I think I'm getting better. So, uh, hopefully, um, soon, I'll be 100%, and I won't be so nasally, and I'll be coughing all the time. So, I'll catch you guys next time.